Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn about ranges in Groovy. So ranges is another type of collection in Groovy and we have learned other collections like lists and maps in Groovy. So ranges is used to create a list of sequential values. So whenever you have a need to create some sequential values, for example, integers from 1 to 10 or characters from A to Z or reverse, we can use ranges and I will show you some very easy practical examples how to use them and ranges are denoted by the first and the last value of the sequence. So for example, if I say 1 dot dot 10, this is a range of integers from 1 to 10 or I say A dot dot Z, this is a range of characters from A to Z and I can also have reverse range like 10 to 1 and so on. So this is how you can define and denote ranges and there are two types of ranges. So we have inclusive and then we also have exclusive range. So here if I say 1 dot dot 10 this is a inclusive range and it will contain the digits 1 to 10 however if I say 1 dot dot less than 10 it is an exclusive range it will not uh, include 10 it will be 1 to 9 so here for inclusive we denote it by dot dot and for exclusive we denote it by dot dot and this less than symbol so I will show you how this is done practically so let us go to Eclipse I am going to my Eclipse and this is the project that we created earlier and I am going to go to this package and do a right click new and I will go to others and search for Groovy you can select Groovy class in case you get a option Groovy class however if I am not getting an option for Groovy class I can go to Groovy type next and here I will select class and I will say I will give a name ranges and finish and I can do the coding without using a class as well so here to create a range I will just say def and give any name like range 1 range 2 or you can give it any name and equals to 1 dot dot 10 so here I have defined a range of integers from 1 to 10 now if I have to print this I can say if I say print ln and I say range and if I try to run this I will do a right click run as groovy script so you see it is just printing it as it is it is not iterating over all the elements so we will see in a moment how to iterate and get all the elements for now let it be like this I will show you some other features so you can also get the size of the range by using the size function and if I run this it will show me the size of the range so you can see it is showing me the size is 10 so there are 10 elements in this range and then I can also check where does the range starts from and where does it end so I can use uh, the function get from and I can also use the function so I have to say range and I can say get to so this will give me the starting and the ending of the range if I run this it should print 1 and 10 and you can see it is printing 1 and 10 and I can also assert this I can just say assert range dot from equals equals 1 and I can say assert range dot to equals equals 10 and if I run this if this will be true there will be no exception thrown so let me just try this and they, there is no exception or failure so that means this is pass and then if you want to get some particular element from some particular position I can say range dot get and if I say here index 3 it will print the element at position 3 I can also say range and in square brackets I can say the position value here and I will print this and I will print this statement as well and if I run this it should print the element as position 3 so you can see it is printing 4 because the index starts from 0 so at index 3 I have 4 so this is this is how you can get some element at some particular position and then I can also check if the range contains some particular 
value I can say range dot contains and I can give some value here and I will print this in case this is true it should print true I will say I will run this and here it is printing true so that means 6 is present in our range and I can also check if the range is a reverse so I can say range dot is reverse and if I run this now so it is printing false that means it is not a reverse however if I say if I define a range 10 to 1 this is a reverse and if I run this now it should print true for is is reverse okay so it is printing true so this is how you can also check if the range is a reverse or a not and then I can actually create another range from this range I can say I will define range 2 and I will say this is equals to range dot sublist so I am going to create a sublist from our range and I will say from index 3 to 7 and this will form a range from 3 to 7 so if I run this this is working fine if I try to print the element of range 2 I will say range 2 dot get from and I will say print ln range 2 dot get to and I will try to run this so here you can see we are getting 4 to 7 so it created another range which has values 4 to 7 so this is how you can also create a range from a range and then to iterate on a range I can use a for loop so I can say for i in let's say 1 to 10 and I can just print i so if I run this they should print all the values of the range and you can see it is printing 1 to 10 and I can also use the name of the range here because I have named my range as range I will run this this should also work fine and this is also printing values 1 to 10 and then I can also use something like I am saying 1.10 and dot each and I am going to use this closure we have learnt about closures earlier and I will use dot each and I will say i and here I will use a hyphen and an arrow and here I can just print I will say value equals and I will say dollar i so this should print all the values in the range 1 to 10 if I run this you can see it is printing all the values and I can actually use the name of the range here I can say range dot each and this should get me the same output and you can see this is running fine and then as I have told you uh, this is range is a instance of java dot list uh, let me just check I think I have not covered this yes so range is a instance of java uh, util list so I can say assert or I will say print range instance of and I will say instance java dot util dot list and if I run this it should print true if this is true I will run this and this is printing true so this can be an interview question as well so ranges are an instance of java util list and this is all about ranges I hope this session was very useful for you I will meet you in the next session of Groovy thank you for watching